Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Imani and I love all things planner and self-care related. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss new content. Welcome, welcome back. I'm really excited for today's video. In the first half, we'll talk through a few planner updates. I know it's still the beginning of the year. There are a few things I just wanna to touch on, some things that have changed, some things that haven't changed, and some goals for the upcoming few weeks and next month. And then of course, we will do a plan with me. I'll flip through some of my January spread so far because January is at least almost over which is wild to think about and I love my planner spread so far so we'll flip through those spreads quickly and then we will plan for the upcoming week stay tuned So if you haven't done so already, pause the video, go grab yourself a nice beverage. I'm drinking coffee today because I have not had it yet and it's almost noon. And if I don't have it before noon, I try not to have it at all. So I had to make sure I get a few sips in to get a little caffeine and energy, but I have my beverage here. And of course I have my trusty iPad. So we are gonna get started. So planner update one is that I still do not have planner inserts for my business planner. So if you watched my 2024 planner lineup video, a few videos back, I'll be sure to link it below in the description box. I really wanted to get A5 inserts for my LV planner agenda, folio, planner agenda folio, I'm not sure what it is, but I wanted to get inserts for that for my business planner and I still have not done it. To be honest with you, I'm not sure what I'm looking for because right now I'm using Notion for at least those like day-to-day -day content related plans. And there are like bigger business plans that I have, but I don't know whether I'm looking for calendar inserts, notes inserts, I have no idea at this point. So still no update with that. When I finally decide on some inserts, I will be sure to let you all know. But for right now, I'm, I've just been using like sticky notes. I use my personal planner. I use Notion. It's just, it's everywhere. And I would love for it to be all in one space. But for now, we'll just continue with that until I can find some inserts that really work for me. So before we move on to the next update, if you also kind of like have a side hustle, plan content, let me know what layouts you use to kind of plan that out. I have no idea what I want to use and I want to be really intentional when I do finally execute and buy some inserts. I just don't want to buy it and then realize it doesn't work for me, right? So if you have any suggestions, um, any input, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Okay, so update number two, I'm still going very, very strong with my half letter planner for my personal things. I purchased one of the planner folios from the Heirloom Collection from Cloth and Paper and listen, it was an investment okay it was a really really big investment and if you have been following this channel for a while you know that i actually bought one of the like clasped closed agendas i'll try to find that video but it was like a white agenda cover i bought that from cloth and paper um i think end of 2022 beginning of 2023 and i eventually took it off because it just wasn't for me this folio is different i realized because it's thinner it's not as clunky and it's a little bit more flexible than that previous binder agenda so it's really working well for me and i think it shows and reflects in my inserts which is why i want to kind of flip through january so far because your girl has been so productive i have been opening my planner much more than I did in 2023 and I'm very very happy with it and I feel like when you're happy with your planner and you have that planner piece in your life then it makes it easier to kind of execute on your plans and your goals and whatever habits that you're tracking in your planner. So the last thing we will dive into before we plan and look at the January spread so far is just like one small minor update. I am really loving that hybrid daily weekly planning. We talked about that last week, why that style really works well for me. I'm really loving the inserts I have, of course, but a small but a small caveat. I am looking to see if there are any other kind of hybrid daily and weekly planning combined inserts and here's why so i have been tracking habits um, digitally on notion but there are inserts that i want to track on paper 
and it's not all my habits it's not all my self-care you know goals that i want to track on paper but there are just like the top three that are really important for me in quarter one that i need to see on paper when i open up this planner and there is some space to do it but as you'll see when we flip through january my spreads are filled with to-do lists and i think that's because i'm using the half letter for personal and for business at the moment. So it's filled, it's filled with sticky notes, it's filled with to-do list um, affirmations. I feel like if there was a little more room or some changes, maybe I would be able to fit like a habit tracker on there. I know, I don't know, I don't know. I just feel like there might be something different out there that could fit that need. So I am on the hunt for that. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Long story short, I'm looking for like daily, weekly hybrid inserts that also might have like a habit tracker on it. So if you know if that insert exists, let me know. Um, but I'll be on a hunt for it. I'll keep you all updated if I find something great. If not, we will make do. Maybe I could track it on a sticky note instead. I don't know. I just figured that I would at least try to look for an insert so I could be a little bit more strategic with my sticky notes. I tend to use those for affirmations and to-do lists so we'll see okay so those are all the updates that i have like i told you this is really short not a ton of changes some things haven't changed at all but i just wanted to be completely transparent with my planner journey this year because i feel like sometimes i start with these really lofty goals to be intentional which is great but you have to show behind the scenes of what that intentionality looks like right old me would have just done some research and executed and purchased every single insert that I found. And new me is trying to be just a little bit more purposeful in how I purchase, who I purchase from, trying new things while also staying true to my planner habits and my planner needs. So let me know, have there been any updates to your planner lineup thus far? Are your goals still aligned with, you know, your beginning goals in the year? What has changed, if anything? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so I'm like almost done with this coffee. It's it's wild. I needed it. It's the boost that I needed to be energetic and get through this video. So next we are going to flip through some spreads and plan for the upcoming week in January. So like I said before we begin, let's just talk about my January spread so far. I think they'll show why I'm very happy. I do have planner piece but there's just little small inkling in me that is encouraging me to look for inserts that may have a habit tracker directly on the weekly inserts. So here is the first week. As you can see, there were a lot of to-do lists here every day, <laughs> almost. Um, I think the only day I didn't really be as productive was Thursday, and I'm not trying to promote solely productivity, but for me, this is intentional productivity when you have a good plans and be a good planner so as you can see here this was a really great example because i had a long to-do list here if i want to track two or three habits that's great but it doesn't leave me a lot of room to put down any meetings or appointments that i have for that day now every day is not as busy and task driven as tuesday was but like I said, it would just be nice to have that extra space for habits. If I don't find it, it won't be the end of the world. Like I said, I can probably just grab some sticky notes, maybe even transparent ones to use throughout the week. I really loved this spread because it was less busy, but it still shows how I was a little intentional about planning to do lists using sticky notes. This sticky note, it's funny, I wanted to schedule a bill pay. This was a sticky note I use in the middle of the day I was <laughs> working and then I remember oh I really wanted to schedule that bill pay so I just grabbed the sticky note wrote it down and then placed the sticky note pad back on my personal desk because of my workspace and personal space is different and I stuck that sticky note later on right in here in the planner so planning on the go planning as things come to me but at the end of the day it all comes together so I really do love that kind of hybrid daily planning while also having every day of the week on the same spread so like that daily weekly hybrid here is the current week a little less productive but that's okay friday after work i said you know what i've worked so hard this week i want to relax so i didn't get a lot done friday evening there were a few test items that i did complete from thursday but otherwise this works for me i love it and it just gives me so much joy and peace when I look at it because I'm being so much more productive than I was 
last year and a couple months ago and I'm definitely in a different headspace so this is working really well for me. We are going to pull out the last set of inserts for January I think. Yep, after this is just notes pages, which is absolutely wild to think about, but we're gonna plan for the upcoming week of the 22nd through the 28th. So a few videos ago, maybe it was last video, to be honest with you, I do not remember, but I was talking about how I missed the acrylic clipboard that I would use to write on inserts because this desk pad, it's absolutely beautiful. I love the neutral colors, but you can almost see the texture here. I don't know how good it's picking up on camera, but this is textured so it's kind of difficult to write on just one insert alone and i'll usually pick out a few other inserts because i cannot find my acrylic clipboard but i found her and i'm so happy she's a little beat up i need to clean her but for now we're just going to use it and then we'll clean it later i'm really glad because i did not want to just keep pulling out inserts and throw them back in it's not that big of a deal right first world problems but it's just really nice if I ever wanted to take one insert or two inserts and go plan at the dinner table or if I'm planning in bed. It just worked out really nice to have a clipboard. I have my iPad over here because I do think there are a few meetings and events I have this coming week and I just want to make sure I remember all of them and remember to write them down. So instead of going by memory like I have been um, at least in the past couple weeks, I wanted to make sure I grabbed the iPad because I do pre-plan via like my calendar which this is the calendar app from Apple but really I've been using Google Calendar that's kind of where my business calendar email is housed but Notion actually just came out with a calendar app I don't know if anyone uses Notion let me know if you want me to talk more about it but I downloaded the Notion calendar app as well um, on my desktop and my laptop so now i just need to do it on my ipad but i'm gonna be using that calendar going forward okay so we'll start with the doctor's appointment that i have at 7 15 in the morning yeah it's so early i actually think the earliest appointment at my doctor's office is like 6 30 in the morning which is absolutely wild to think about but I like the early appointment, so I will not complain. Um, so we'll write doctor's appointment here. Okay, I didn't have enough room for the AM, but I know it's at 7 AM and not PM, so no worries there. Then Friday, I have a birthday dinner at 7 PM. So we'll just write B day dinner at seven. I ran out of room again. Hmm, my handwriting is a little on the large side today. I know the 27th, I'm actually going to go see um, a comedian, DC Young Fly. He's coming here to Buffalo. So that's really exciting. Okay, so a lot of things going on towards the end of the week. Sunday looks like it'll be a little bit more relaxing, but I know my mother's birthday is coming up the following week. So I don't know if we're going to celebrate this weekend or like the next weekend, kind of that first weekend in February. So I'll have to ask my dad about that. But those are the events for the week. Let me take some time to give some thought for the weekly to-do list, and then we'll come back and talk about it. I just went ahead and planned the full week so we can talk about it. This is a nice blank space and a blank palette. I'm excited to get some highlighter color on it, even though I'm gonna use, I think this is gray. Yep, just gray from Malbliner. 
something neutral and minimal so I can add sticky notes and not worry about clashing. I don't know why that means a lot to me, but for me, everything has to be a little cohesive. So I'm gonna highlight the events as usual. This is definitely a little on the darker side. It's not like a light gray, but that's okay because it matches the really gray sky we've been having lately. <laughs> I was chatting with my mom yesterday and she said, you know, make sure you get outside. So I've been working from home lately and with the storms that we've had, things have been closed and shut down. And I told her like, I like being inside though. But she reminded me that it's important to go outside and get vitamin D, even though the sky looks like this. It is definitely gray out, but definitely have to make sure we get our vitamin D in. I wanna make sure I highlight Joshua 1-9, highlight the week, and a few of the important to-do items for the week, which is definitely executing on my mom's gift now that we have decided what to get her. I want to make sure I at least start that car class. I'm trying to lower my car insurance. I want to do that before January is over and buy a planner. So, um, as you know, we I got engaged when I went to Portugal and we have planned for getting married in August of 2025. So as of February, I think I did the math right. As of February, I think we'll be 18 months out. So. I'm finally going to execute on a plan. I finally made a decision. And of course, when I buy and get it in the mail, I will be sure to unbox it here. And I'm really excited about that one. Okay, this is it. This is how I like to have the blank slate here. That way I can add the to-do list, you know, as the day approaches. If you have any questions about the products you've seen in today's video or anything that I've said, please let me know in the comments below. I would be happy to chime in. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye. Thank you.